it is the 28th of April, which means we are officially one week out from the Copenhagen Marathon. So today marks the last Sunday Run Club before the marathon, and it's not 21k, it's not 25k, it's not 35k. It's a nice 13 kilometers, which not been the case for a long, long time. So I'm super excited to get that done. Again, the last sort of long run before taper week next week. I'm going to take you through that week as well. And I'm going to take you through Copenhagen as well. Because we've got a cool shakeout run with Nike that we're doing on Friday, which will be sick. So I'm doing that. Update on shoes. I have got the Endorphin Pro 4s. So I did get the Elite yesterday. And I'll put a picture on here just to show you that I got them. And they didn't feel right in the heel for some reason. This is a solid heel. With the endorphin elite, it's like um stretchy material, there's no sort of back, and it just felt like my shoe was gonna fall off. Like I tied it as tight as I could and I could still pull it off with my hand, which is not ideal. So I didn't trust them and I didn't trust spending 300 pounds for me to wear them once and not wear them again. So I went with the pros, the trusty steeds, which I've already got in the threes, but these are the new fours. Put in the white laces because they look sicker out my speeds and i'll be trying these out the only issue is i got these in a half size down than the other ones so that means that they are a little bit tighter but the other ones are a little bit big so i'm gonna put on these today with some thinner socks some thin run socks and see how they feel if they feel okay i'm gonna wear them for today's run if they don't feel okay i'm gonna leave them and i'm gonna go for the bigger size but i think they'll be absolutely fine so let's put them on and let's try them on now Change the cap. We've got the normal tribe cap on now. I only like wearing this for room because it's a bit weird to wear on a day to day. I should look, I look like I, one of them. Do fit, I think. So I'm going to try it out. I can only try it out. Yesterday we felt feet were all over the place and I think it was like that in your head because I tried loads of different shoes on. I was like, oh, did they fit? Did that fit? I've never, I haven't had that problem for a long time where I've had to go and go, do they actually fit me or not? I just usually wear them and then see what happens. But I think it was just playing in my head all day. The marathon and all that but at the end of the day if i wear these they fit me so i'll wear them for high rocks if they don't if i don't wear them for the marathon if i don't wear them for the marathon i'll wear the other ones but i'm gonna wear them anyway so i might as well just try them on today and see how we get on so they fit they look sick they look cool so yeah let's go down with the team for this 13k let's go let's go Bad idea with him. Shit out. So Monday we are back. So yesterday we ended up doing a 13k with the team, which is the last long run of the prep, which I'm absolutely over the moon with. Um, and we test out the new shoes. So we've got both Adore from Pros. We've got the Pro 3s, which have been my go-to for the last eight or so weeks. And we've got the new Endorphin Pro 4s. So I wore them yesterday for the first time. Verdict on them is probably gonna be an eight out of 10. And again, I don't know if it's because I had so much stuff in my head around um, trying on shoes and the marathon coming up and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, um, I'm gonna take both. I'm gonna decide on a day what's gonna be best. Obviously, I've, I've only wore these for one run, so one run's not gonna break everything, but I'll wear these for the track on Wednesday. That'll be the real test, because if I have any soreness on my feet around the track, then that'll show, you know, they're probably not gonna be decent for four hours. Um, so we'll see on them, but if not, I'm gonna take both shoes anyway. So we'll see how that sort of goes. So today we're going off to the gym. We're gonna do a full, uh, not gonna do a full body, that's a lie. We was gonna do a full body. We're gonna do, again, a push session today, a pull session tomorrow, no legs this week. As I said, I'll take you through this week in terms of what we're gonna be doing. Um, it's a lot more chilled out this week in going into the marathon. And I'm gonna take you with me and I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what I've ordered when that comes what I'm going to be taking over the next few days going into the race as well and also the kit that I'm going to be wearing on the day. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss another video because this week you've got a couple of videos coming out regarding the trip to Copenhagen and then what's happening after that which is a big announcement so be sure to be subscribed. There we have it, upper body push in the bag. So that's the first session of the week done. One of three on UK territory. Tomorrow we've got a pull upper body. And then Wednesday we've got the track session, which is like the, the most well-known session when marathon prep. It's marathon miles. So it's just like one mile at marathon pace, 
uh, rest, another mile at marathon pace, and then a cool down. Like it's a pretty simple workout, but it's a good chance to test the paces, test the shoes again, and stuff like that. But now we are on our way to optimal performance. So every single marathon prep optimal performance, Chris has helped me with um, getting ready. Usually I do like a full prep, like a full 12 weeks of weekly massages or monthly massages. But this time I just haven't, just because I've been up the wall. I haven't really been able to fit them in, but I've got a few, little bit of a niggle in my left glute and I've had it for about a month, maybe a bit longer since the Liverpool Half Marathon. Um, and I'm going today to get that fixed, have a little bit of a rub down on the calves, the um, hammies, the glutes and the hips and open them out a little bit ready for the weekend so it's something that i've always done every single marathon prep that i've done i don't know if it's psychologically a little bit of perceived low as well but i feel like i need to get it done so it's been good and booked me in last minute today so while i'm on my way there let's go through what i've just done in the gym so we started the week out with a normal upper body push session so very similar to the last youtube video we just reduced the leg volume in here so we went with fly start as i say i always like to use this as a little bit of an activation don't really like that cable stuff just because it's so wide but that's the only one you had available at the time this machine is often overlooked which is the techno gym chest press machine i get such a heavy activation on this and it just puts me in a really really good position when it's set up nicely so this allows me to really push to, to failure and um, around that 8 to 12 rep range so yeah i really enjoyed that exercise and i think it's really often overlooked so if you have got one of them in your gym i would definitely recommend giving that a go as you can see here the amount of squeeze that i get on it once it's in like um belly sorry belly button nipple line like in a really really good position you don't know i've got a good squeeze from it we moved on to shoulders so the shoulder press machine in athelis which is the other gym that i go to isn't ideal so i set up like a high incline slash shoulder press on the smith machine again i can really really load this machine and this feels really good on me for delts and i get a good amount of activation through it so yeah banging on 100 kilos on that it's definitely not 100 kilos it's probably more like maybe 80 key um but it's definitely heavy enough from there another cable lateral raise again better than dumbbell so I prefer to use it like this that gym hasn't got a lateral raise machine but if it did i would have that instead apologies about the lighting in here it's a little bit harder to film just because there's one massive window and that's about it everything else is pitch black so excuse the lights on here but yeah on today finished with a tricep extension we did do a couple of other bits as well but as i said the, the gym was busy and there's a few pts in there so i don't like to get in the way of them because i've been there myself and myself um, so i just did some exercise on triceps and then left it i hope you Right. There he is! Welcome back to the vlog, it's been about two years. <laughs> How are you? Well, you good? Yeah, I'm good, you? Step in, sir. Thank you very much. It's been a while. So it's always good to catch up with Chris. Again, I haven't been seen Chris properly. I've seen him a few times, but like get a rub down for like over 12 months since the last marathon. So uh, always good to put the world to rights, chat about the industry. Um, 50 minute rub down, about 10 or 15 minutes on a normal text as well. So legs are feeling nice and flushed out, nice and refreshed. Um, so now just going to collect ab and then we're off to buy a pram, which is a big purchase. If you don't know how much prams are, I'd fucking that a lot. Um, and then we're back for a couple of content calls with hopefully a couple of guys who want to join the tribe. So exciting things to come. Spoke to Chris about it. He's on board. More to come on that in the near future. But yeah, that was nice. Let's get after it. Checking fuel going down. Uh, on our call like everything's been going really really well i think you had a really really good solid start with everything everything's in a good position and i said to you like you're quite self-critical i think it's a good thing but again you also want to pat yourself on the back and be like you know month one is all about getting the foundation set which you've already set you've been smashing the gym you've been planning a lot better as you've said here like best you've been in years so you know exactly what what you're doing is is moving in the right direction you did what you needed to do which was tick off the uh, the start doing feeling the most confident you have now it's a case of moving into the next phase, which is your wedding, and get you filling out that suit, mate. So that's the goal. Let's make it happen. Any questions, let me know. Marathon week, mate. Obviously, I know that you've been... As I said, like it's just about breaking up um, into different phases. So you did the marathon. Now you're in the, you, sorry, you're in the marathon prep at the minute, and physique's always going to take a hit. Like You're never going to be the most optimal looking when you're running a marathon because it's performance-based. And I said, with it in the half marathon, high rocks, low, birthday weekend, all that sort of stuff. So marathon and, and training and recovering for that um, and prehab for that and rehab for that is, is important. Whereas once that's out the way, then you put a little bit more effort, maybe going into summer with the physique side of things, then working towards the next high rock simulation and then going into high rocks towards the end of the year. So 
Yes team, what is happening? We are back. It's Wednesday. We have just finished off some editing, some work. And now we are off to go and grab the rest of the marathon merch. So if you didn't know, a couple of videos ago, I shared some of the merch that we got for the Copenhagen Marathon. Some of the team got them. Let's go and pick up some of the rest now uh, before we head to the track on Wednesday. Caveat, a little bit jumpy this video, but it's absolutely fine. I am a business owner, as you can see from the last video. Yesterday was manic. All we do on Tuesdays is just catch up with the team. A lot of people to catch up with and a lot of uh, energy spared. So uh, the last thing I want to do is pick up the camera. So yeah, a little bit sporadic this, but this is the week before we travel out. So I'm going to take you through that track session tonight. And I'm going to also take you through what I'm taking to Copenhagen, which will probably be on tomorrow's agenda. So yeah, a little bit jumpy, but you get the reason why. Let me pull up the chair. So, test is to test these shoes out today down at the track. Well, down at the park. Again, I've got thick socks on purposely to see what that sort of feels like going into the race. Um, because I wear thinner socks on Sunday, so we'll see how these feel going onto the track, and then this will dictate whether I wear these on Sunday. But I'm not feeling very confident, I'm not gonna lie. So we'll see how we go, wear these for a bit, and then go to the bar. Let's go. So I bought this as well, I didn't even know how to wear it, so I think I might have bought the wrong one. Does it go over your ears or does it go under your ears? I don't know if I bought a winter one, but this is a game changer or some sort of headband is a game changer because dripping in your eye after 5k is not what you want when you've got a long way to go. So I've got a spare one of them, but I'll see how this goes on. I'm going to watch a YouTube video now because I haven't got a clue how to wear it. What's this? Let's go disco. Boys at the front. <laughs> Girls at the back. Let's go. How many days out? Four days out? Oh yeah. Four days out. Three now. Three days yeah. out. Well, yesterday's technically done and it's go. Yeah. Lots of new shoes. I haven't set that thing up and put them the one. Alright. Here come the boys. Oh. <laughs> so mile repeats, marathon mile miles. 1.6k, I think it's only two lots, a bit of rest in between at marathon pace, so the boys are off. Nice and easy, test the legs, test the shoes, just to shake any sort of nerves out. So, last session of the, the week, well, before the shake up run, and then that's it then. So, yeah, five minute kilometers, 1.6k, twice. Let's go. There are the interval miles done. It's got a one mile cool down now, so again, it's meant to it's meant to give you confidence doing that because I didn't feel too good there. But again, one thing I've noticed since doing this prep is I don't like run the evening time like full of food. So when I run in the morning, off like one meal, I'm a lot better. So at least I know that's one of the reasons. But yeah, that's it. One mile cool down, and then shake out run, baby. That's it. Shoes feel okay. I said I'm not too sure yet. You feel okay today, so I'm gonna take both, and then we'll just have to the side. But at the moment, they feel okay. So get it out of my head. Get it out of my head. So time's packed, as you can see. The room is absolutely bomb. So I'm gonna walk you through my race kit. At the moment, we've decided on what shoes we're gonna go for. So we'll start from the best down. So up top, pure sport um, running club vest. Again, this is a nice breathable material. So I've been wearing it every long run, and it feels on point. Again, I have got the represent headband, but I'm going to take another one as well because I don't think I'm going to wear that. Here, we have been taking this the last couple of days, which is the Precision Fuel. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 60 grams of carb per serving. So I've been having one of them every morning, and I'll continue to have one of them every morning. Along with, from tomorrow, one of these. So 1,500 milligrams in them. So one of them and one of them. So a lot of sodium, which is something I need. Gels. Got just about three or four more than I need to for the marathon, so I'll take one of these every 30 minutes. These are the high five focus high five, not the act ones, the normal ones. Again, they're sponsoring the race, so we'll see what happens. Further down, we've got the represent shorts, the half tight again, favorite shorts to run at the minute. Have to go funky with the socks. We've got over the lime green, or I said to have, I'm going to try and pick up some pink ones, I think, if I can see any. And then shoes, we went with the trusty steed, so I've decided to go with the Pro 3s just because it was in my head, it's been playing in my head a lot, so again, I know these are absolutely fine, and I know these are a good shoe, 
So I'm just going to stick with these. So that's going to be race day outfits on Sunday. So as I said to you early in the video, this is going to be where we end the vlog. Tomorrow we fly out in the morning. The camera's charged. The bags will be packed. The SD card's being wiped. I'm going to raise the vlog in Copenhagen. So the next video you'll see will be in Copenhagen when we smash the marathon. Let's go.